Hi all, my name is Eddie Spielman. I am one of your Avery Dennison trainers. This is the Avery Dennison Academy. We are going to make a number of videos with tips and tricks for installers of each level. In this clip we are going to show you how to handle, avoid and remove tension in film using heat. Will you join me? I'm going to show you a few simple and solid techniques. There are other methods that you can use, however, what I'll demonstrate will put you on the right track for sure. During the installation you will often introduce tension into the material by squeegeeing or simply stretching the film. This tension can always be removed by using heat. Important here is that you evenly warm up the film to a temperature of 40 to maximum 50 degrees Celsius and keep the heat gun in motion. You can actually see it as well. If you warm up the film, wrinkles appear. If you then warm it up a little bit further, the wrinkles disappear again. At that moment, the film reaches this temperature. When the film has cooled down, you can feel that there is less tension in the material. Of course, if you're going to apply the film into the corrugations, you will have to warm it up again to the right temperature. I always first take away the tension on all areas of the entire panel and then start to work it into deeper parts. So work step by step. We can apply the same technique on other substrates such as the hood of the car. The unique adhesive system of the film enables you to easily lay it down. Eventually you will bring some degree of tension into the film. You gently pull the film, spread any tension, but you see you will eventually develop these wrinkles. Try to spread them as much as possible. The most critical tension, for example, like you see here on the panel's edge, will remove by using temperature. Don't squeegee down the film just yet. The adhesive is lightly touching the surface so it allows you to easily lift and reposition. Bumpers and mirrors have more complex and extreme shapes which lead to more tension. How you divide the tension is very important. Pay attention when you start positioning the film. If you choose the most straightforward method, in many cases you might create tension somewhere else. Watch if I just simply pull it around like this, it eventually results in an excessive amount of film here that will be difficult to process. What you need to do is divide the material. So how you position the film is very important. Pay attention to where you position your hands. The film has the right temperature and now I'm going to position it. I position my hand here in the middle and you see the crease appear. Now you can easily divide and spread the film to both sides. You see that on both sides for now I only have a little bit of tension. We've now reached a point where we will have more tension. First, we will of course remove the tension using heat. To avoid a color break, we will lift the film up as far back as to this light line in the bumper. Try to do this as smoothly as possible and in a nice straight line. Then we'll heat up the film. Be careful not to overheat the film, otherwise you could still get a color difference or adhesive break lines. I thoroughly heat up the film over here, where there is the most tension. Next I'll wait for the film to cool down again. When it has nearly completely cooled, you stretch the film over the curved surface. These steps I will repeat again at the next light line in the bumper. As you can see here, I've heated up the film quite hot, almost to the level required for post heating. Make sure you let the film cool down at which point you can apply the film further. If you would have some discoloration, it will almost not be visible because of the light line. When you're finished applying the film, you will need to post heat. 
Be aware that wherever you have stretched the film, post heating to a minimum of 90 degrees Celsius is required. So all the critical parts where you have stretched the film you need to post heat, edges, curves, corrugations. Let them cool down before you start cut with cutting and finishing. Thanks for watching. If you would like to learn more, go to graphics.averydennison.eu forward slash workshops.